Greetings, fellow watchers and racers, and welcome to Gran Turismo 13. This is the real simulator, the real driving simulator, because this Gran Turismo 13 simulates driving. And what are the three main components that you need for driving? You need a steering wheel. Hold on, let's turn on the lights. Let me get the lights turned on. You need a steering wheel. You need to be, what are the three main components of driving? You need to be able to steer. You need to be able to brake. Wait, can you see that? You need to be able to brake and you need to be able to accelerate. So, can I do those things in Gran Turismo 13? All right, well, whether or not this is Gran Turismo 13, that part is a joke. The question is whether or not Gran Turismo is a simulator. Because there are people out there, there are people out there who just say things, and I think there are a lot of people. They say things, and they don't really know what they're saying. You know, when you really get down to it, a simulation is an imitation. You know, it mimics something that's in real life. Like when you're playing an adventure video game, and you have a character in the video game that's like a human. You you know, for instance, I'm a real human being, and in video games, you have a simulation of human human beings. So right there. You already got your simulation. You know, it's not a real human being. It's a, it's an imitation of a human being. It's a gimmick. You know, uh, I mean, it's a mimic. It's mimicking uh, the function of that particular human being, right? So when you press the punch button, the character punches. When you press the jump button, the character jumps. When you press the walk or the directional button, the character moves. So Gran Turismo, is it a simulation? All right, like I said, the three main components of driving, being a dr real driving simulator, the three main components you need for driving, are steering, braking, and accelerating. All right, let's see if Gran Turismo does that. Now, you've been playing Gran Turismo. Those of you who've been playing Gran Turismo, you play Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo, does Gran Turismo simulate steering? Huh, okay, well, Gran Turismo has a controller, and some people use a wheel, some people use a controller. I'm at my job right now, and um, on my way to work. Oh, well, I, actually, I'm at work. I'm working right now, um, and I'm driving. Matter of fact, I'm driving right now. I'm really driving. But when I, am I driving in Gran Turismo? I'm simulating driving when I'm in Gran Turismo because Gran Turismo simulates driving by using its uh, stick controller or the directional pad, but it simulates steering. Okay, that's one down. Does Gran Turismo simulate accelerating? Uh, it uses pads and it uses buttons. And if you have a, a steering wheel, hello, you got pedals, that you have pedals and you have a steering base. So that's number two down. Now, does it simulate braking? You know. Uh, it's got a pedal and it's got buttons and it simulates braking. So, uh, yeah. And what else does it simulate? Let me see. We got real cars. You see that right there? That's a real car. Those are real cars. Those are real vehicles. I'm in a real vehicle right now. Does Gran Turismo simulate cars? That's the fourth one. So we're on the path of already having completed or successfully identified that Gran Turismo is simulating or imitating or mimicking the functions of things that are in real life. You got real life, and then you have virtue real life. We call it virtual reality. So when a person is actually walking around and saying that Gran Turismo is not a sim, they're being one of two things. I figure one of two things is happening. They're either incompetent or just stupid, and neither one of them are admirable qualities. I mean, how... I guess what really what what's really happening is maybe what's happening is okay now listen let's let's be let's be compassionate let's try to be understanding because I did use the word stupid and those words are are hurtful well it's hurtful when you say Gran Turismo is uh it's not a simulation because it does it's it's a it's called the real driving simulator and that's exactly what it does it simulates or mimics uh, uh, sim imitates or mimics real driving. That's what it does using virtual cars. That's what it does. So in that way, it's a real simulator. Now, what I think what it really comes down to, they're missing the proper adjective. I came up with a concept because of this whole concept. I, mean, I came up with a, uh, a phrase because of this whole concept of this whole argument about whether or not Gran Turismo is a simulation because they're always trying to compare it to ACC and iRacing. Those are the two main things that pops into people's mind when they're trying to determine whether or not Gran Turismo is a simulator. Yeah, it is a simulator. I think what's happening is it's a. I think it, I, and here's my phrase. Here's the phrase. It's the um, percentage, the percentage of simulation accuracy. It's the PSA index. Percentage of simulation 
accuracy. And what I mean by that, I don't think any computer, any any virtual reality simulation is going to 100%, 100% uh, d- to be able to duplicate or imitate reality 100%. Because, no, I said duplicate and imitate. What I meant was, I don't think um, virtual reality will be able to come close to actual reality. I mean, not come close. What I mean is to completely duplicate it. That's what I'm looking for. That's the word I'm looking for. I don't think computer games will be able to completely duplicate reality because see, then it's no longer, you know, what virtual reality anymore. Not by 100%. It won't be able to 100%ly do it. I mean, do it, do it by 100%. What man, my words are kind of jumbled. It's early morning. Give me a break. But anyway, so the percentage of simulation accuracy, let's just pick the round number of 100%. You take a computer game and you're able to duplicate reality or imitate reality, and your imitation percentage is 100%. I'm thinking if it's, a, if it's an imitation percentage of 100%, it's no longer an imitation. You know, you're no longer imitating. You're basically, you've moved over from imitation to duplication. You know, at that point, you've moved from imp- imitation to duplication. You've duplicated reality. I'm just not so sure there's enough computing power right now and programming power. Well, I mean, it's probably programming power, but I don't know if there's enough computer power right now to do that. Or if and if it is, it's extremely expensive. It's extremely expensive. Well, I'm coming up on my first delivery, so let's get it and close this off. Close this off. I'm at my first delivery, and um, let's go ahead and just uh, close this off by saying this: the percentage of simulation accuracy is probably what they're actually talking about. Gran Turismo is a sim, but how well does it simulate reality? ACC is a sim. How well does it simulate reality? I racing is a sim. How well does it simulate reality? We try not to um, take any pictures of anything that might be uh, too sensitive. <laughs> uh, Gran Turismo is a simulation. So the question is, what is its persist- percentage of simulation accuracy? You know, and let's say the best sim. Pick whatever you consider to be the per- a best sim because it's also going to be based on your personal preference of what you think the best sim is. You know, whether you decide it's, whether you decide it's ACC or whether you decide it's iRacing. Because I've heard real race car drivers, and I, won't, I, won't, I don't like calling out people's names, even if it's honorable, you know. But I've actually heard a guy who actually does real race car driving say he's found problems with iRacing, and he's found problems with, um, with ACC. So you're going, you're going to have a bias on what you consider to be the best simulator. So pick whatever you think is the best simulator. And I would say for right now, for the sake of argument, let's say that I, iRacing is the best simulator. Let's just pick iRacing. Now, the question is, what is iRacing's percentage of simulation accuracy? Is it 90%? Is it 80%? Is it 70%? I don't know. We would have to figure out what are the parameters by which we, we would have to, somebody would have to put together a team to say, you know what, let's put together a, a PSA index team. We're going to figure out what, what simulators have the highest simulation percentage of simulation accuracy you know to reality let's let's see what let's see what sim racing video game has the highest psa index and you'd have to you know lay out the you know get 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 together a team and lay out the features the indications of the qualifications of what you would need the characteristics that you were going to study and then you have to get in real vehicles Real race cars, real real production cars, real cars, and you have to do everything that those cars can do, and you have to try to see if the game does everything. How much, how close to reality is that percentage of simulation accuracy when you play that game, whether it be iRacing, ACC, or Gran Turismo? So I think that's pretty much what it comes down to. It's a simulator. Gran Turismo is a simulator. The question is, how 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 well of a simulation, how how good of a simulator is it? You know. How close is it to actual reality? Would you put Gran Turismo in the 50% category? Oh, it only, feel, it only simulates um, act the accuracy of reality by maybe about 50%. Or would you say 60% or 70%? Any, any racing sim, iRacing, ACC, R-Factor, Assetto Corsa, Assetto Corsa Competizione, whatever sim racing you game, whatever uh, sim racing you're going to play, the question really truly becomes... What is the percentage of simulation accuracy as it relates to reality? What is the, what is the simulation accuracy? Well, what is, what is this reality accuracy, if anything? Because it's already a simulation. Simulator, uh, it's already a simulator. I guess, the, I, guess the, I guess the question would be, what is this percentage to reality accuracy? But we'll just use PSA because we're, we're talking about simulation. And I think you can use that word. So do we go, what is the percentage of simulation accuracy to reality? Do you go that far? Or it's PSA index is just the way to go. This is a long video. Let me go start my deliveries. I just want to get your thoughts. What do you think? Am I just being rubbish? Are those people right? Am I on the right path? 
Tell me what you think. This is WRL Podium 13 once, once again with the graphics from the new Gran Turismo 13. Look at the detail. It's so real. <laughs> once again, that's a joke. This is not Gran Turismo 13. I just wanted to talk about this whole concept, this whole argument about whether or not, you know, Gran Turismo is a simulator. Because uh, I think we just proved that it is. Or maybe I didn't. This is WRL Podium 13. Tell me what you think. Bye-bye.